Okay, so now I'm going to take my eraser and get rid of these guidelines, especially the ones that are outside of my work here. And sometimes they're a little stubborn, a little tough to get rid of. It was hard because I wanted to make sure you could see them, that you could see them. But anyways, we'll get we'll get it done the best we can. So the Nyogant became a clan regardless of which story you believe or want to listen to it happened in one of those ways I suppose and now we have the deer clan in with the bird side of the clan system and you know long long ago the way it worked was you married somebody that was a different clan than you are and that was just the way it went and the clans are supposed to help one another out because they're really just, they're like big families. We get our clans, what clan we belong to is determined by the clan that our mother belongs to. And there's a word for that called matrilineal. Matrilineal, it goes by the mother's family line. So, anyways, oops, we'll get this the best we can here for now. We can always go back later and clean it up more, but now I'm going to take and color them in. And uh, as I said, the Neogat has certain characteristic certain color patterns that they have and we're going to use uh, colored pencils on this and we'll show his different colors and I think the best place to the best way to start is by showing his markings so he has white in certain spots, certain places. And it is white on his muzzle, like that. And he has white around his eyes. So we're gonna take and kind of color that to show this white. He also has a white patch and a, his neck underneath is white. So we're gonna show that like this. And we're gonna leave that part white. Like that. Now, inside of his ears are white also. So we'll just take and color the top part of his ears. And we'll just kind of like, like a coloring book if we did our drawing clearly. And I'm using this kind of reddish brown color that I found that looks pretty good. Looks pretty close to their, to their color. And I flipped over this uh, 
poster board. I have something else on the other side. So this side isn't the best side to use, but uh, ah, I'm making do with it. Now, the way they go is the top, the front of their legs have this brown color on it. And the inside of their legs are white. So we'll color it like that. This other leg will just color the front of it. Now, all the way underneath on their bellies are white too, so we're gonna leave a strip of that and just color that like this. And again, I hope you're following along. Hope you enjoyed the videos and hope you like to draw. I uh, have spent a lot of time drawing and it, and it's funny because as a student, I was sketching all the time and the teacher would be talking and I'd be sketching something. And sometimes I would even sketch what they were talking about. That way when they'd say, hey, what are you doing? I could say I was using it to make notes. And some teachers liked it and some teachers didn't care for that too much. But it helped me learn, helps me remember things sometimes. Maybe you're like that too. But now we'll take and just put some black. We won't get too detailed with it on their feet, on his feet like that, on his hoofs. There we go. You can see that I left that, uh, that strip, that band. Now I think I'm gonna find the best I can and use a darker brown. I'm gonna use this darker brown, darker brown. I gotta move my camera a little bit here. And show some shading here. Darker area here. Watch this, I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna go that way. Scribble like that. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna go on the antlers and just show a little bit of shading on it. One side of it, the bottom side. See how that really gives it a different and good look like that. Down here we'll show his muscles. Put a little bit of area here. They have this thing right here where their tendons are, their tarsals, it's called tarsals. And they have glands there and on the inside of their legs it's really puffy hair right here and they use that and they leave their scent and it might sound gross to you but like a dog they pee and uh leave their scent telling the does i'm, I'm gonna use some orange now i'm gonna throw it in there and 
Show some highlights here with him. Nothing crazy. But see how it gives it a little bit more life. And I don't have to go everywhere with it even. Now, I'm going to put a pattern inside of this, and I like this, I like this, uh, this shape that's on here, so I'm going to copy it, <coughs> kind of looks like a mountain, I guess, and it's nice because I can just go right along with it, I got it set where I like. I don't have to measure every little line and I can go in there and go like so I do have to try to be careful with it but it sure makes that pattern <coughs> easier Now taking a look at it, maybe I can do something a little bit different with it. Well, I'm going to go like this. Almost like a really like a beadwork strip or maybe somebody would put that on their clothes a long time ago. <clears throat> and to help the pattern, I'm gonna go like this. Hmm. See that? I'm going to do it on every other one, I think. Make like that V and you can make your own design however you want. Maybe it represents a plant with a berry on it, maybe it represents strawberries. But you see how that <clears throat> made it so much easier for me to do that. Oh, let's see. Why don't I use a... Hmm. I'm going to use a bright color down below here I should look around <clears throat> for a minute Take a decision here uh, I'm going to get back to this I guess and use use some green and I'm thinking that I want these to represent the hills so I'll use green. It's nice. And put it in there. Just following it along. Staying in the lines the best I can. You know, of course, the difference of doing a colored pencil, maybe you want to make a painting, then you would do these same steps, of course, and instead of using the pencil, you'd mix your colors and use your colors, and paint in the lines.
sometimes I'll do a sketch and put it away and save it. And then when it's time that I want to make a painting or do a painting, I'll get it back out and I'll decide what I'm going to paint. I want to paint that, you know. Okay, now I'm going to go with a blue. I'm just going to start on the top here. Like that. And with this fine line, I'm go all the way across and see how it looks. And there's nothing wrong with mixing materials like this. Markers and colored pencils and paint. Sometimes on some of my paintings, I want to get a line just a certain thickness and consistent. I'll use a marker on it. Alright, so we got that in there. And now I'm going to take my colored pencil and like I said about mixing mediums, I'm going to use this lighter blue and just go through. And I'm not going to color it all the way either. I'll just do it light. Almost all the way down. But you see how it gives a feeling of a sky color in the mountains and I'm expressing and showing native design in this way so there you have it Neil again uh, I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to put a little bit of yellow. Not coloring it all in solid, but just a little bit of it lightly in there. Make it pop a little bit. And maybe I'm going to do this to define him. Find his markings a little bit. There you go. Neil got deer. They are called, their clan is called Hodinyagua. Hodinyagua. Deer Clan.